Well, it's now June 1st, and uh, that really kind of awakens us to football being right around the corner, despite summer not even really starting yet, because it'll only be about six to seven weeks in that range before we see uh, conference media days. And then right after that, uh, everybody heads to camp to start August practice. So recruiting is huge this time of year. Always is big, but uh, this is a time to look at uh, a lot of the candidates, a lot of the prospects firsthand at a lot of camps. And OU has a big weekend uh, slated coming up. Yeah, so Oklahoma has their annual, what uh, previously had under the the previous um, coaching administration, they had, had, had coined as the Champion Barbecue Weekend. So they're continuing with that. Uh, Venable kind of came out and talked about really this being a very, very good time with um, with the open period and recruiting to, um, you know, kind of get to work and do a lot of things. So really busy next few days and overall weekend. Um, Venables has some um, camps that are that are happening. I think they started today. I think they'll go go on through uh, the rest of the, the rest of the week here on th- and then obviously the the champion barbecue uh so i think you know i, I think the, the list will fluctuate a little bit mark just between now and um and when and, and when that happens you know official visits come but I've, I've heard anywhere between 30 and 40 um kids will either be here either on their unofficial visit or their official visit here with um with oklahoma here in the um here in the spring or early summer, I guess I should say. And, and so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's always a big weekend. Probably their, I, I would say, Mark, probably their second biggest recruiting weekend of the year outside of obviously the spring game was pretty, um, was pretty big in terms of number of kids on campus. But then, um, but then certainly this is one of their biggest single weekend events, obviously, you know, throughout the year, they'll have some big, you know, bigger games where, you know, they'll, they'll have a, a decent amount of recruits in, but uh, yeah, I think, I think this will be good because Oklahoma hasn't had the best of news in the recruiting cycle over the, the last, you know, week or so just related to Oklahoma. Um, Ashton Kozart has had decommitted from Oklahoma um, and has flipped his commitment to Oregon uh, was something that was a little bit expected. I think over the last, um, Oh, over the last few weeks, Mark, but but still, um, I, th- I think still a, a hit to that recruiting class, and so I think a lot of people that that look and follow recruiting very very closely will, will probably look where, at Oklahoma's ranking right now, and maybe some eyeballs will um, pop out and some jaws will drop. Just relate. I think Oklahoma's I think number thirty four and number thirty five overall but i think a little bit of the change in philosophy from from brent venables from the, the previous previous regime um will will kind of show early on meaning you know, venables has really pushed these recruits to not commit to oklahoma until they are 100 percent sure this is where they want to be because i don't think that the staff wants to number one doesn't want to deal with a lot of you know decommitments and going back and kind of re-recruiting those kids, but also wants the kids to be, to feel firm. And this is where they feel like that they're led to be. This is where they want to be, where their parents want them to be and and things like that. So, um, so like I said, not incredibly surprising to see Oklahoma where they're at, but I would, I would anticipate that getting cranked up a little bit more here Um, through the summer. Obviously I think a lot of these kids want to have this, process kind of finalized and, and done with by the time you know school starts in august and obviously football season starts closely thereafter but um but also i think oklahoma will uh, as i mentioned that previously Venables has kind of came out and said that they want to do um do a lot of their work here in the in the june time frame and, and obviously early july before the before the dead period starts again so um will be interesting to see how many um if oklahoma gets any commitments out of this weekend i think there, there's a couple um that that seem to be could possibly you know make the decision over the weekend but nothing specific but you know ha- having having that amount of kids on campus is, is good um for, for the overall experience 